want to look at this while the sun the moon is covering the sun or while the moon is leaving the sun while the moon is over the sun to, in, during totality you can look at it with your camera or your mobile phone or your eyes without protection but as soon as this moon goes to cross over and it starts showing the crescent part of the sun you do not want to be looking at that without protection for your camera or your eyes so I'm going to show you in this uh, short tutorial how to make a filter for your camera. What we're going to do is use the same thing that we use for our eyes. We have solar glasses. This would also be good if it wouldn't, you know, during times, uh, any, any time that there isn't an eclipse, if you wanted to take pictures of the, uh, the sun or whatever like that, you could. But uh, this tutorial is mostly for people who want to use their mobile phone or camera to take pictures of the eclipse. What you'll need is a pair of solar glasses, which a lot of places are offering them for free now. Or you can go to Walmart where I got these and get them for a dollar a pair. And if I put this up here to the camera, and you look through there, you cannot see anything. It blocks out everything. Except for maybe light bulbs or the sunlight. You can see that through it. It's a pretty good filter. So here's what you need. These eclipse glasses, a pair of scissors, and a mobile phone. This mobile phone happens to be an iPhone 6 Plus. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these glasses here and we're going to cut a filter out of them. This is going to be really simple. There's our filter. See that? Just a square on the back. I'm gonna see if I can peel this off. If I can, I'll just leave it on. There we go. Now we have our filter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this filter all the way out. Try not to get fingerprints in the middle of it because that's where your camera is going to be when we're done. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut out your little square here. And we're going to lay this down. We're going to take this phone right here, this iPhone. Unplug the power. It has a case on it. I'm going to take the case off. And if you don't have a case, that is fine. You, you just use a little piece of scotch tape on each side and put it on there. What I'm going to do is place this filter black side down over the camera, like so. And then I'm going to put the case back onto it. Got it positioned. Okay, there we go. We have our filter installed. And it's really that simple. I'm going to turn this phone up toward the light bulb. And we're going to... Let me adjust my stand here a little bit. Now we can see how bright that light bulb is right there. Still positioning this iPhone. And we're going to turn on this iPhone. And I'll show you what the screen looks like. Through that filter. Put in my passcode. Turn on camera. Okay. As you can see, the filter's in. 
we're not picking up anything it is just totally blacked out that's what's there you can't see anything it is totally filtered out everything now we're going to put it up here and we'll show you what it looks what you should see if this comes out see that all right now i'm gonna take a picture It's hard to see with my secondary camera, but I'll take a snapshot with this one, and then I'll show you a picture of it. Here's a picture of it. Maybe it'll show you the picture better. There we go. Lay it back down here. And you can see the picture it took of the light bulb. Now this is one of them fluorescent bulbs. It's only kind of a half a bulb. That's why you see a half a, looks like a half a moon or something there. But yeah, that's how you do it. It's that simple. That's the way to protect your camera phone. Um, yeah, well, your mobile, it's a, it's a good way to protect your mobile phone camera from being damaged by the sunlight and to protect your eyes from being damaged by the sunlight during the eclipse, the transition of the moon over the sun. Now remember, during totality, you can take off your glasses and you don't need a filter during totality, but make sure you use a filter or your glasses when the moon is passing over the sun and uh, across the sun. But during totality, you can look at it without protection. Hope this video helps and enjoy the eclipse.